simple things at farm level can make a huge difference to the bottom line. Because margins are tight, it's important if we look inside and outside the farm gate to maximise our income. We've got a few shocks, all right. Smart farming, two benefits. It saves farmers money, it protects the environment. It's always good to have a, somebody else's eyes looking at, at your farm. Smart farming is an initiative led by the IFA to reduce farm bills and make better use of the resources available on the farm. We've brought together a, a collaboration of different agencies focusing on eight areas in particular. Uh, those areas are the areas which have the highest bills or offer the biggest savings on farm. The eight areas that smart farming concentrates on are soil fertility, energy, grassland, water, feed, inputs and waste, time management and machinery. The advisor sent me a list of all the things she needed, which was invoices, soil sampling, maps, single farm payment applications. I didn't quite know what was going to be required. Uh, as it turned out, it was quite simple. It was just get together some paperwork uh, as to what had been happening on the farm in the last few years, the amount of meal being fed, electricity bills, what type of fertiliser was going on, the soil tests and stuff like that. So it didn't take too long, a couple of hours to pull out the information and uh, it was not too hard. She came then to visit to discuss it on the farm itself. Basically we sat down at the kitchen table with the farmers looking at their bills and then we would walk the farm. The advisor came back to our discussion group and we all met here on the farm and we looked at all the various areas on every farm where improvements can be made uh, and we also looked at the ones for this farm and I suppose it's, it's just once again making people think about what can I do on my farm and where can I make improvements. The target from Smart Farming is to achieve a saving of €5,000 per farm. That is money that is far better off in the farmer's pocket than anywhere else. The saving was €3,000 on my farm, just over that. Well, by doing this, I hope that I will make a saving of €1,000, and that's a win-win. There is definitely cash to be saved. For your uh, electricity bill alone, you're talking a few hundred euros for a small suckler type farm, right up to, you know, maybe a maybe thousand euros for uh, a, a dairy farmer, a large dairy farmer. I suppose the areas that they did find for improvement uh, were reseeding, uh, other areas in energy in the milking parlour, uh, plate cooler. Um, we also looked at the vacuum pumps. As the herd has expanded, the water system hasn't been changed and how I need to um, replace either the pipes or put in more troughs in order to supply enough water. We measured um, the nut feeders in the milking parlour. They were meant to be giving a kilo of nuts and instead they were given 1.2 kilos of nuts. There was money to be saved there. Well the long term savings, that, that run into thousands every year. Costs are the biggest thing on most farms. Anything you can save is a pound in your own pocket. Common sense is what you need to use. Once we make the savings, that will project on into the future. There'll be a big benefit down the road. Smart farming is today focusing on key issues of soil fertility, of feeding rations and, and saving energy. And we all need information that's easy for us to digest and, and therefore to be able to apply on our farms. Two main benefits from smart farming. One is that it saves farmers money. And the other thing that it does is that there's environmental benefits to resource management on farms. I would say if you get an opportunity to partake in it, do it. As simple as that.